Good morning, it is day five of our advent calendar and somebody has decided he wanted to stick around and help me film um, a little bit more for this week. What I think he wants to do is actually open the box, isn't it? To see what's behind each door. Yeah. So that is what we're going to do today. So day five is a brand new stamp set. So we're starting from scratch again and everything we do for this one goes into, let me see if I can find it, our day nine envelope. And if you feel day nine envelope, it's quite a big one. So pop that back up there so we know where it is, nice and safe. Because you know what I'm like, I do lose things, don't I? Day five. Day five, yeah, that's the one we want to open. Day seven, day Yes, that one there's day nine. But we're doing day five today, aren't we? Yeah, I'm just counting how many more days until yeah. we can open. So it's five. So you've got five days to open until our next envelope. Include, yeah, yeah. That's included today, so four in today. Yeah? So should we get on and get opening yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. So we have got our advent calendar. Um, so where is day five? You've been spotting this already. It is down there, right at the bottom. So let's move it out of the way. Are yeah. you going to do it? Yeah. Let me move up. Let you move up. <laughs> move up. Right, day five. Here we go. What's behind the door? I know. Oh, do you know now? No, 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 no. no. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, nearly saw what was behind day 20 as well. Right, whoa, 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 gentle. Don't snap his head off. It is. A fish. A fish. Interesting. Let's just like take my box back together so you didn't see day 20. And so today's is a teeny tiny little fishy. Fish. fishy. So Bear is going to disappear and I'm going to do some crafting. So a big thank you to Bear for opening our friend calendar. He's now disappeared off. Um, I have decided it's going to be quite tricky to craft with just a fish. But we're going to try. So I'm going to do an ATC. So an ATC is a little card, an artist trading card, that measures two and a half inch by three and a half inch. So I'm just going to trim this piece of card down, just like that. Oh, let me throw my bits in the bin. So this is the size we're working to. Right, so under the sea it tells me we want um, blue for the sea. So I'm going to go with my brush out today. And I've got some on my desk here. I've got our lovely turquoise. So I'm going to put that in the background. Very gently, you don't need much brush out at all. Pop my pin back in and I'll just give it a quick spritz. I actually want this to have over you, you've noticed when I spritzed it then I've done lots and lots of water because I actually want to move it a little bit as well and we'll cheat because we'll get our heat gun on this and get it moving even more with our heat gun right. let me grab my heat gun and we'll just get moving this with that as well Right, that's looking pretty good for our sea, but we want a little bit of seaweed as well. So I'm going to turn it around. I've got my sea green and I'm going to pop whoop, quite a bit across the bottom because we need some seaweed now, don't we? I'm just going to give it a quick spritz. Again, I'm going to go quite heavy with my spritzing. So now when I turn it up, we should be able to give it a bit of again and dribble it. It's not going to dribble now. But a few little bits of seaweed. Well, they're very big bits of seaweed, aren't they? Let's see if we can do another one. Let's pop another one just here. And spritz. There we go. I don't want it to run down the one it's already done. Turn it around again. Come on, let's give it a little bit more encouragement. There we go, there's that one. And I am, I'm being very generous with my brush out and my water. Again, I'm going to spritz it. And again, I'm going to encourage it. Come on. You know you want to go down that bit there. Encourage it again. Oop. There you go, close enough. 
starting to look a bit under the water isn't it now look at all that green um, now I'm going to dry that off again and then we can start doing a little bit more so that's nice and dry now um, you can see we've got our sea we've got our seaweed and I'm going to start stamping some fishies I'm thinking we're going to have one central one and then one maybe two a little bit down there not quite sure we'll see where it lands shall we so I'm just going to ink him up start stamping that this little fella down here thank you and then you can have a friend up here feels a bit mean stamping it off the edge doesn't it we'll just have two on here his little friend can go there Again, it feels mean if I stamp it there. I'm only going to get a fish tail. Maybe we're just going to have two on there. That might work. And then I'm going to dry this because it's very fine clay. I want to make sure it's nice and dry before I start using um, my marker pens on it. So that's dry now. I have picked out some of my pens. So I have got, you can see that I've got a yellow. I can't get it there. You go. A yellow, an orange, and a red that we're going to work with. So I'm going to start off with. I think I'm going to start off with my orange. And take it from there because these can be our little goldfish. So you can see we've got our two little fishes, we're going to start making them jump out a little bit more. So we're going to grab our white pen. There we go, just making sure it works on my finger. And can you see it's fighting here, isn't it? So we're just going to come back around and just give it. To help it. Just giving it a little bit of a border. Just to help it stand out a bit. And it also um, forgives any bad colouring on my part. Obviously, I didn't say that. Just as well, just like that. I'm going to pull his eyeball in because he's got an eyeball there. It's getting, starting to look a bit wetter, you know, a bit more fish like, isn't it? Yeah. Go in here. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen one. with quite such big lips though. So. They have got a cheeky one that also comes up to the top. Anytime he sees you, he always comes up to the top because he wants to feed him. There we go. So you've got two cheeky little fishes there. I'm just going to do a little bit of doodling around the edge, I think. So, am I going to do any writing in our border? Before I start putting my, my border around it, am I going to do any writing? I think I will. So we're on day five, aren't we? I'm going to put day... Day five. I'm going to put the top here without putting my hand on it too much. I'm going to do Advent. This is why you don't see my handwriting very often. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do squiggly wiggly lines. Do -do -do, just like that. And then I want to make sure I don't go through my fish. Because, well, your fish is the important bit here, isn't it? Not really my doodly lines. This is the pen that Bear fixed for me today as well. Very kind of him, wasn't it? We're just going to do that. And then where is. Should be here, there it is. I knew it was there somewhere. I'm going to grab my little. Well, my 
charcoal pencil or pencil or whatever you've got just to make it look like a bit of depth to my frame on the inside on both so it looks like you're looking through into a picture frame doesn't it I think I'm going to leave it there though my black and my white one gone again oops it's fighting there oops decided it doesn't want to work there we go so instead of colouring it in black I'm going to colour it in white I think which, because it's wet, it's hitting that brush out. That brush shows um, coming back to life. What's it called? Reactivating. That's the word I'm looking for. Oof. Um, so we're not getting the tree white. We're getting the mixture of colour that's behind it. So here we'll get a little bit of blue. And then a little bit of green here. It just, I think, helps that background, doesn't it? Make, makes it a little more like a frame. And again here. And there we go. I think we're pretty much done there. So, as it's an ATC on the back, um, I'm going to pop my stamp and then I'll put my name. Um, and the date it was made. But there you go, one little ATC made with today's stamp, which was a fish. So I hope you enjoyed that. We have made a little ATC for day five. There we go. With our little fish. I do think we need to name him, don't we? Not quite sure what though. So that is it for me today. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you're enjoying your advent calendar so far. And do come back tomorrow to check out what is behind day number six.